Hey, what's up guys? This is iTech411, and this is my hands-on of iOS 8, which just got announced today on my iPhone 5. Now, iOS 8 isn't a huge redesign in terms of the uh, design and the overall look. You can see it's very similar to iOS 8. Now, you see one of the first things that's changed isn't necessarily in the home screen. That looks pretty much the same. But now in uh, Notification Center, we now have the ability to have widgets in here. So different uh, tiles, so we have Sports Center and different third-party widgets. Now also in our Multitasking Center, we also have different contacts at the top, our favorites and most recently used. Now we also have Health, which is a accumulated system that gathers a bunch of health data together so you can have a, a healthy app or a healthy iPhone to keep all of your health data together. Now we also have uh, Touch ID support, obviously this is an iPhone 5 so I don't have that, but you can have uh, Touch ID on third party apps besides just Apple's apps. Now we also have a new keyboard and a new spotlight search, you can see if I were to type in something here, instead of just searching your apps and a few other services, it also searches Wikipedia, you can also search movies and a lot of other services through here. Now with this we also have Siri support, so now all we have to do is say, Hey Siri, and it should launch Siri. Now this is a beta, so this isn't working yet, but it hopefully will soon. And also Siri has Shazam support. So you also have the ability to uh, opt out of group messages uh, if you're in a group chat. So that's basically what you get with iOS 8. Not a whole lot's changed, but I will have more videos covering in-depth of each feature later on. So make sure you subscribe and comment any videos you want me to make, and I'll be having more later on today.